Well, hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Deepa Robbins from Designs by D and I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video today. I don't actually have video footage, but I have a bunch of pictures to show you how I make this card. So we'll take a look at the card. It's just another Father's Day card that I made. Um, I didn't actually get a chance to film how I made it because I didn't have enough time and I think my camera ran out of uh, battery power and space. So anyways, this was the card that I created and hopefully this different type of video is still going to work to show you exactly how I did it. So you can see I have this bit of four square type sentiment on the front with a simple background. And on the inside, I continued that background in a bit of a lighter color. And I added a sentiment and some simple cartoon images, which I really like, especially with masculine cards. The front it tends to be a bit geometrical and plain. And on the inside, that bit of a cartoon image makes it just a bit more fun. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the first stamp set that I'll be using. It's from Concord and Ninth, and it's called bold and brushy uh, uppercase stamp set. It is really cool. I recommend getting it. You'll definitely use it tons of times. Now, if you do visit the Concord and Ninth um, website, you will find this how to. This is where I got it from. And it basically shows you how to use the different letters from the uppercase set and the lowercase set to create a continuous uh, word. And it'll also show you how to use those little T's, the double T's and the R because they're placed differently based on being in the front or the center of the word. So first thing I did was I used some Versafine Smoky Gray um, ink and I used that to stamp out the word dad. And as I said, I did that in this four square um, type of layout because I thought that was pretty cool, a little different. And I could use the different, um, the different uh, like uppercase and lowercase uh, lettering to create a bit more interest here in the stamping. Now another cool thing is that this stamp set has these little borders or frames that you can add around the edges and I use that bit of a, um, a black background there with the smoky gray ink and then I stamped on top of it a heart in that Encore metallic silver ink so it gives a really cool um, effect there. And I think you can really stamp out some cool sentiments using those borders with any other cards. So we'll move on to the actual background. I used this stamp set from Concord and Ninth. Um, I've used it on a few of my other Father's Day cards and it's the plaid background stamp set. I really, really like this stamp set. Um, it's basically got one background gingham type stamp and then you add the lines to create a plaid effect. So once again, this is from the Concord and Ninth website if you want to have a look at it. And it's another how-to for this stamp set. It shows you can stamp that gingham by itself and not even use the stripes for the plaid. Or you can add the stripes in and get that plaid effect if you want. So it's pretty versatile in that sense. Now what I'm showing you here is that I did go ahead and stamp the plaid background. So that's the gingham plus the stripes. And for the actual gingham background, I used Altenew's crisp oval dies in the starlight color. And then for the actual stripes, I used the Caribbean sky from Altenew. And for that, I only have the cube mini ink cubes. And as you can see, it makes a pretty cool background. Now I will sort of advise you for the stamp set, you can go ahead and use a darker color for the stripes, but if you're gonna do that, just make sure it's in the same color palette. So don't use a different color, use say a darker blue here. Otherwise, I find that it looks a little off. I don't know, I guess you can play around and see how the different color works, colors work together. But I prefer to have the same color when making those lines a darker color. So here I went ahead and I stamped that gingham print on the inside of the card too. Now this is really easy to do when you have the stamp positioner. I think with these background stamps, you really need it, especially this one that has the little fine lines in between. Uh, you just wanna be able to stamp it a few times to make sure you get a good solid image. In this case, I only stamped it once just because I didn't want the color to be too dark. And that's why I used this Altenew Arctic color. Then I used the, uh, the two stripes there, and I only used one stripe out of the two, and I inked it up with Altenew's Morning Frost ink, 
Now this is a really nice ink because just like the Arctic color ink, it creates more like a watermark type effect. It's not too dark that it stands out so much. So on the inside of a card, it works very well, especially when you want to actually add some writing over top of it for your sentiment or note or the actual names. Now I use this set a lot. This is the My Sentiments Exactly stamp set for Father's Day and it's called Father's Day Innies and Outies. It's really great because it gives you the Father's Day sentiment that you can put on the front of the card in different uh, fonts. And then on top of that, it has a few sentiments that you can put on the inside of the card. I find it's hard to find Father's Day card sentiments, especially for the inside of the card. So this one is one that I actually use a lot. And I definitely do recommend getting it if you're planning on making Father's Day cards. So I went ahead and stamped the thinking of you, especially today, and wishing you a happy Father's Day in Versifying Onyx Black ink. And it was just a simple stamp with my acrylic block because, I mean, with the Versifying, I find that cre it creates a crisp image every time. And then I went ahead and I used this Lawn Fawn Dad and Me stamp set. This is a Father's Day stamp set. It's really cool. It's got all these different little quirky... Um, sentiments that at the bottom there like you're officially awesome I think you're very funny and they go along with all the different little character images I ended up using the moose and the baby moose there and I think a couple like a little image with the rocks there it's really cool because you can create a background scene as well and I definitely would use this one for Father's Day again so I went ahead and I stamped the father moose and the baby moose. Now, as you can see, there's only one baby moose. So I, my husband has two daughters. So I stamped the moose two times. And you can see if you stamp it on a different plane, slightly further up or slightly further down, then what happens is that it looks like two different stamp images. It doesn't actually look like I stamped the same image twice. So that's a neat little trick when you're wanting to get more use out of your stamps. And as you can see, I just used the two little rocks there on the left. And I actually finished it up with a um, the little hearts there in red. Um, it just makes it stand out a little more in the red. And I think I got the hearts from the Lawn Fawn Mommy and Me stamp set. So that uh, is another good set to have. So here's just a close up here of that little cartoon image. Really, it's really pretty cute there. And if you look at the stamp set, there's actually a bunch of other little elements that you can add there, like little glasses or a hat and things like that. It's just a really fun set to use. And we'll go back and have a look at the uh, the sentiment there. So there's an overall look of the card. And that's basically what I have for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up with that link below. Um, you can also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I also have a blog. You might want to take a look at that. There's some other cards and scrapbook layouts and things like that. I'll put a link to it in the description. And I also have a couple video links here if you wanted to take a look at those too. So that's about it. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Bye.